Well, here comes a fish. Let's see if he goes for the worm or the corn. Oh, there he is. He's going to go for that corn. Oh, has a bite on the corn. He's chewing on the corn. Got him. That's one for the corn. <laughs> Definitely went straight for the corn. So I'm doing a little uh, trial today. Corn versus nightcrawler. I'm do best out of five. That trout came in with like no doubt I want that corn. It's just plain corn, no scent on it. Okay, there you go. Calm down, buddy. Right through the nose. We'll get him back. Okay. First fish of the day on corn. I'm trying to do about equal size of corn and night crawler. So three pieces of corn. Got a nice little chunk of night crawler down there. Okay, let's get three more pieces of corn. I'm using white shoe peg corn. Of course, corn and night crawler are some of the most popular trout baits. I'd say to me, I actually like corn better because it's just easier to store in the fridge for a longer period of time. Night crawlers tend to have an expiration date a little bit more. If you salt corn, and these ones aren't salted, this is fresh. If you salt corn, it'll last a lot longer. Now there is a myth about corn being um, indigestible by trout, but that's, that's really just nonsense. They can digest corn just fine. Okay, there's the worm. There's the corn. Got about the same level there. Let's see what happens now. Need customer number two. Oh, here's a fish. He's gonna go for that corn right away. Well, he didn't hesitate. That's two for the corn. Man, he came beelining in for that corn. Nice. That's another one for the corn. So two to zero on the corn. All right, so two for corn, none for worms. So that night crawler is gonna have to rally if it's gonna catch up now, since we can only do best out of five, because when I'm fishing with bait, every fish I catch in Washington State counts towards my five trout limit. So the uh, worm is gonna have to catch the next three consecutive fish in order to come out victorious which I don't think it's going to do. And, oh, there's another one. He's going in. Got it. <laughs> that's uh, that's three for the, for the corn now. So it's definitely the winner. I'm all wrapped up in it. Oh, he got me twisted up and I lost him, but still a good catch. So that's three fish now for the corn. And zero for the worm. That one popped off at the hole because it got wrapped up in the line of the night crawler. But we'll keep going till five. I think the reason that corn sometimes does so well is because trout are very visual feeders. And the corn is very bright. And night crawler is dark. And I'm fishing at a depth of 15 feet underneath the ice. So it's just possible that... Uh, just the visual attraction of it, but when they get close, they seem like they really want to bite it and hold on to it too. And the fish, just chewing on that. There he is, that's a trout on the worm, finally. That's good. The worm got some redemption. All right, so the worm didn't get skunked. That's so three to one now. All right, let's get this back down there and find out which one's gonna get the final bait. There's one on the night crawler. Ooh, rally for the crawler. Oh, I lost it. Okay. Now, if I'd stopped it right there, I would definitely have said that the corn was the clear winner beforehand because it was just getting hammered like crazy. But, you know, the last two bites have been on the night crawler. And since I didn't land that fish, I still have the opportunity to, to try and get another one. But as I was saying, you know, trout are very visual, so... I don't think the scent really matters until they get close and 
I do think that corn, especially in lower light, has the ability to capture their attention from a distance a little bit better. We've got a little more sun, a little more light coming down through the ice now, so maybe it's not as clear of a advantage. There is a trout coming up here. Oh, oh that was a bite on the corn and I missed it. Dang it. Oh, now he's going for the night crawler. Come some fish. Oh, he went for that corn in a hurry. He always smashed the corn a couple times. Oh, he's just got bad aim. There he goes. <laughs> Two bites on the corn, then he's like, all right. Clearly, oh, he popped off. Dang it. But he did two bites on the corn, but didn't really hold on to it. But then he really went for that night crawler. Held on to it. Let's see if we can get one more here in the last 10 minutes before I gotta go. Kind of see where the balance comes out on the equation. I feel like earlier in the morning in the low light, the corn was doing better, but uh, the night crawlers definitely picked up some uh, slack in the afternoon here. Well, it's been about a half an hour and I've hardly marked anything in that time. And, you know, this morning there was clearly a preference for the corn and then it sort of shifted a little bit in the afternoon towards uh, night crawler as we got a little bit more light down there like i said i think it's a really visual on the corn they can see it it's bright uh, so they're both really highly effective baits but overall i think corn's still my favorite just because it lasts longer you can freeze it thaw it use it over and over again you can firm it up by putting salt in there so you, you just get a lot more bait uh, for the cost and has a much better longevity. Whereas the night crawlers, you know, they do tend to expire unless you take care of them, feed them, and uh, a little messier too. So, Let's see if we get a fish here in the last few minutes. There's some school of perch going by, but maybe there'll be some uh, trout mixed in there with them. Well, I'm going to wrap up here. I'm curious what you thought the outcomes would be when I first started this video, if you thought corn or nightcrawler was going to come out on top, and if what you saw today in the footage actually changed your mind in any way. Um, I think, you know, they're both highly effective baits, but I really uh, have a lot of confidence in the corn and just how, how effective it can be, how affordable it is, how long-lived it is in terms of preservation. I think it's just a really nice bait uh, to use for, for trout if you can legally in your state. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder. Bye. And, of course, as soon as I turned off the camera, one hits corn. Murphy's Law.